All right, welcome back. Hello. Who are you? Driss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods, horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture, hungry furniture that wished to devour me. <laughs> I know it must sound foolish, but in the dream, well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. Well, the work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Now we just need to tell the guy the house is haunted. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well... It shan't put me in the poorhouse. <laughs> Good man. The second sword. Can I see where Triss lives? In the bits. In case the first one. Ooh, I live in the bits. You say that. I think it was right there. Probably not, now that I think about it. Damn, mages. Ugh, oh, fucking oh, it is. I guess this is just a little square. Mages, mutants, blasphemers, cobalt. This is gonna, this is gonna be a nightmare to navigate. Triss, I do not remember where you live. Is that a secondary quest? I press some. While wallowing in the bits, Novogratz wore the most notorious slum to which took a contract on a monster committing horrendous murders. Right, the, the bits. There must be this place, though. Or is it this place up here? Oh, I think it's up here. I just want to see if she's there. Because we can do remote rows of remembrance and all that. Shish kebab. Okay. Some unplugged, I guess. Whatever. I cannot even deal. Damn it. Guess that's a tomb. <laughs> Probably gonna go in there later. I have a I have an idea. Temple guard let even you into the city. Yeah, the yeah. brain keeps the rogues indoors. I feel like we're going too high. Oh! All the rich people always live high ground. Up high. Up high down low. Too slow. So it's it must be down here. Or down here. I don't rightly remember. Uh, 
Oh my god. Oh, I live in the bits. Hey, well, if you could plot the point on my map, that'd be nice. <laughs> oh, oh, I remember this. Not here. The city's too big. I cannot <laughs> even. Look on my map here, right? You get me? Oh. Well, it's true that I found a shopkeeper. So it might be one of the shopkeepers here. You get me? Yeah. It might be the way that I can remember. Hey, Greyhead! Got the deal of a lifetime for you! Unless... no. I, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Oh wait, wait, how did it, how did it look like on the inside? It's not that... <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. I can't even... Ah! Show me what you got. Farewell. Dole bluff, huh? Dole bluff, huh? Whatever. Let's find her. In here. Okay, so smoky. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in seeing mm. the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's do it. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. She just explained it, I need Carol. the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. 
The woman's name is Siri. Was she there when I got stabbed in the stomach with a pitchfork? Uh, but that's a strong, that's a strong memory. Hmm. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Sure. Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Sure. Yes. No need to rush. We have time. <laughs> Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. Had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Care Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work. Development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, was of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Sure, I'm spilling all my guts, so go yes, ahead. I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one in legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? 
Sure. Yeah, there's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? Do they call her the Lady of Space and Time? <laughs> yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. She does do that. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? <sighs> Yennefer and Triss? Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot. You could have stripped a little bit, Geralt. I mean, that's that's gotta not be comfortable. Step down the line. What a posh outfit. Get out of here, swallow. No one needs you. she did? <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. <laughs> After that, just nightmares. At times the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left in the Rosemary and Time in their will. The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Well, he's gonna be happy. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Yes? Some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Uh, no. Except witches earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. 
dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the wish you're for, anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. <sighs> Good on you. I still want to find. So he's in the bits. The supervisor. The bits are over there. Really? I don't feel like I've been over there. Oh, wait, it's over here. Ah, oh, I found it. <laughs> Oh god, sneeze. Oh, no. Don't do it, nose. Fuck. Okay, I'm good. Ugh. Fucking hell. Ow! You look familiar. Open up. Work with mages often. My, aren't you curious? You yourself looking for work, perhaps? No, I just know them. Usually not all that willing to get their hands dirty. Don't know them well, then. A hounded, hungry mage is desperate as any man. Not about to be fussy when taking on work. I'd say they're even more Nobody than desperate. Nobody a city of opportunities. Chances to be seized. You should grab one, too. Farewell. <sighs> Where would she oh. be? They say you're the best. Oh. Would you mind demonstrating your dexterity? Well, I'm bound for the market square, love, if you'd like to come and watch. Not that I have any. <laughs> okay. yeah, it's just poor people. You look like Salamandra. <laughs> I don't like it. Tris, are you hiding in here? Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. <laughs> Pam Paran, Pam Pam Paran, Pam Paran. Ah, just more. What? What? Tris, I don't know where you. You're hiding in the bits. Unless the bits are over there. You have to understand, I do want to find her. Hello. I just let's just see if we can find her. <laughs> just a quick, quick look, quick look. That's all I'm asking. Fuck. 
This ain't no Assassin's Creed. Can't just jump and grab onto anything. And like jank out your arms. What's he doing here? Whoa. Huh. It's none of your business. G gentlemen, I beg you. Bad idea. Any... I swear to God, this is going to haunt me to death. It really is. Pyres. Uh... Visit Triss in her house. the start of the quest so I don't know where she is All right. well I'm sure I'm gonna meet with her um well I guess next time we'll uh, meet master dandelion um, I wonder if we're ever gonna meet Sultan Chibe we're probably gonna meet him at some point please of course we're gonna meet him but um yeah next time next time so um There's a merchant in here. No. No. Oh, fancy clothes. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take it. Of course, please do. Psh. Ooh, so fancy. Ooh, a wolf mask. I'll take it. Alright, well, I got the wolf mask. I'm happy now. So long. Um, alright, thanks for watching, guys. And, um, yeah. Tune into the next.